njengoba saziki ukuthi kwacelwe indawo kamaphumulo sangayithola kwaze kwasathola indawo kwe la kwasizabani and as you know that there at Mapumulo, 1966, we couldn't get land there until eventually we were able to get land here in 1970, here on the current site. Now, the whole area here was just wattle plantations. Now, we started here not having a cent to start the work with. And Reverend Stegen, as a white man, was the only white person and all on his own here and he built here and he stayed here on the mission. Special, special branch. And he was under suspicion by the police. They thought he must be a communist, so they were following after him and investigating him. And they thought, what is it that brings him together with black people? So they said he must be a, a, the mouthpiece of Mandela. We didn't even know who Mandela was. But a charge where now And they would even bring him in for investigation and for uh, interrogation, and but he would play them his messages that were recorded. I said, "Where do I speak in favour of communism?" Now, Baba Emmanuel Kwela was Uncle Allo's driver, would drive him up to Johannesburg, and as sure as anything, there'd be a roadblock somewhere, or they'd be pulled off the road, and asked, now, where are you going with these black people? Now, please, you older people, forgive me when I speak to the younger children. Don't be deceived. You speak about apartheid. You don't know anything about apartheid, what it is. You have to learn the history of it, but you don't actually know what it means. But we lived in it. We grew up in it. And Reverend Stegen lived in that time and in that era of apartheid. Were you already born at that time? 